Happy Friday, I'm Carol Schulte and welcome to another edition of my Happy Friday video blog. And greetings where I'm coming today live no longer from Prague, but actually in my beautiful hometown of Oakville, Ontario. Did you know that Oakville is actually no longer a town at all? It's exceeded the population and is technically now a city, and yet we all still refer to it as the town of Oakville because, well, it sounds a whole lot more quaint. There you go, a useless, fun, random Friday fact for you. So I'm actually at home only for a brief stopover as I'm on my way to New Orleans, where I'm excited to be speaking at the International Association of Administrative Professionals annual summit. Now I love attending summits and conferences and big events. I love the energy, I love the learning, and I love meeting a whole lot of new people. And ideally, I love going deeper than just meeting with them and really connecting with them. Now in last week's video, we talked about the importance of connecting with people, and I gave you five ideas and easy to implement strategies that would help you to build meaningful and lasting connections. And one of those ideas was learning and remembering people's names. And I promised you that this week we would dive deeper into that very idea. And so that's exactly what we're going to do today. Now, a lot of people have said, Carol, you're so good at remembering people's names. You seem to have this gift. You're so lucky. Well, let me tell you, I wasn't born with knowing how to remember people's names. I don't have this skill that I just woke up one day having, and it's something that I actually have to train and practice myself on on a regular basis. But I decided that it was something important to me. And so I studied, I learned about it, I read up on it, and I have some systems that I use. So I want to share one of them with you today. One of the biggest impacts was reading the famous book by Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And he talked about the four-step Lyra technique. And so I've expanded, made some additions and adjustments, and I have the seven-step plaisir technique, which I'm going to learn and, and share with you today. Plaisir is actually the French word for pleasure because, well, meeting new people and learning their names should be a pleasure, and it also aids in the acronym. The P in plaisir is present. First and foremost, you have to be present. Make sure you're looking somebody in the eye. You're actually in that moment so that you are setting yourself up for greatest success when it comes to remembering their name. The L, listen. Now I know this might sound simple, and in fact, a lot of these ideas may be common sense, but they are not necessarily common practice. We're so busy that sometimes we ask questions on autopilot and not because we actually want to know the answer and are ready to listen. So if you're not ready to actually listen to what someone is going to say when you ask them what their name is, then don't bother asking it at all. The A, association. What kind of association can you make with that person and their name to make it easier for you to remember? For instance, let's say you're meeting an Eileen and she appears very enthusiastic. Could you call her enthusiastic Eileen? Now, maybe that's better in your head than to do it to her face, but you get the idea. Perhaps you have a cousin named Eileen that you can help remember it that way. What kind of association can you make? The I impression. Look at them. Notice what kind of impression are you getting from them? Do they have long hair? Do they have a friendly smile? Do they seem very sophisticated? Taking them all in is also going to aid in you remembering their name. S, scribe. Write it down. So this is a tip that I've been doing for a little while. I have a file folder in my phone and on my notebook in my notebook and also on my laptop of the various places, groups, networks where I meet people. And I write them down so that next time I go to an event where I'm gonna be seeing that group, I refresh my memory. Now I remember I did this once when I joined a rowing group. And at our first lesson, I was very surprised to hear the instructor not go around the circle and have everybody introduce themselves. Now this is something that's really important to me. So before I left that first class, I made sure I introduced myself individually to each person and then made mental notes in my head who each was. And as soon as I got back to my car, I made a little note, Marjorie, long hair, Tyler, blue eyes, whatever those associations were. And before I went to class the following week, I took out that note and I made made a, qu a quick note or reminder, refresh in my head who was who. And I was able to actually greet people by their name. And oh my goodness, did it shock and surprise them. So it goes a long way. So scribe, write it down. The next I is interest. Do you actually have an interest in remember people's name, remembering people's names? Because if you do, then you will take the time to do what it takes to do so. So care, find value in it, make some sort of association or some sort of importance to doing it so that you will be prepared to put in that practice. And finally, the R in plaisir is repetition. 
use their name a few times in your head when they first tell it to you. Make sure to clear up any miscommunication or mispronunciations that you might have and also repeat it in the conversation. So once you meet somebody, John, so great to meet you. Tell me a little bit more about what you do, John. Not only is it going to help yourself to remember, but it also lets the other person know that you do indeed remember their name. And when you remember somebody's name, you are showing that you care. After all, the sound of someone's own name is the most favorite sound in the language. And so take the time to remember people's names. Now I want you to put this seven step process into practice this week. Plaisier, be present, listen, association, um, impression, scribe, interest, and repetition. Put those seven steps into practice and let me see how it works with you. And I want to hear from you. So please share in the comments below. And if you have someone in your life that you think could benefit from this, then please share it with them. Sharing is caring after all. Until next time, I'm Carol Schulte. Have fun learning and remembering people's names this week. And until then, don't forget to dream big, play big, and live big.